I'm not, we both in there? Yeah. Okay. The next piece of uh, splinting equipment that we're going to be used is called the KED, K-E-D, which stands for the Kendrick Extrication Device. Um, this splint can be used, it's kind of a um, short body, cast half body splint uh, that you can use, uh, say, in a, in a car accident where you can't get the full um, spine board in there, so you can put this in behind the person in the seat um, after they have a seat collar, but uh, we, we will already did that in another video. Uh, you can also put this splint on an individual who may have a um, hip or pelvis fracture um, or even a um, rib fracture. Um, this will be very helpful. So, um, so again with this one, um, we want to make sure that we have all the all the straps uh, undone and the Velcro. Uh, and the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, attaching the uh, the legs. And again, we want to try to be as uh, delicate as uh, possible with this. So, once we have this place behind the person, uh, first we want to attach the black straps, which are the, the leg straps. Uh, so again, we want to carefully um, slide these under the folds in, in the legs, the knees. And this has a white buckle. So these are all color coded. So obviously the, the white's going to attach to the white. And as I mentioned, we have one on both sides. Again, this, this is um, centered on the, on the person. Again, this is going to slide on the opposite leg. It's going to go up there. in the groin area. So again, if we s stuck it under our knee, again, try not to do much movement uh, with the patient. And this is going to buckle into the white snap on this side. last. Once we have those attached, again, we can tighten those as we need to. Turn this around. And then here in the front, we have three buckles. Uh, the red one's going to be the very bottom one. And we still, again, want to make sure that it's on here straight. 
button centered. Yellow button is the middle buckle. And the green buckle is the top buckle. And again, we still want to make sure that this is secure. And again, if you have someone you know, helping you, uh, they can help. Again, be careful with the fracture injury as you don't want to do much movement, but you might be able to help uh, hold some of the sides in while the other person is tightening the buckle. So each one of these will be tightened. Again, communicate with the patient. Okay, again, make sure that it's tight. That feel tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then again, if we need to um, make any adjustments on the other ones, we can do that. Uh, the next piece that we have is uh, the head piece, uh, which also is Velcroed. Um, if you needed to, um, you could add some uh, foam padding, uh, either behind the neck, maybe if you had a smaller person, um, or a towel to help add some, a little bit more uh, support on them. Okay, I'm gonna fold this. So again, we want to try to have the, the head as, a, as much aligned as possible. And then we have two head pieces, two head straps that are vel velcroed on. So again, if we had the neck collar on, this could easily go over that. So one is going to go across the, ch the chin, and then the other one's going to go across the, the head. Again, just velcroing onto the... top piece. Again, making sure that the head is secure, in line, Okay, and so you want to make sure that you're checking all of your straps. Just up a little bit. Okay, and again, the last thing that you want to do is again, make sure that all of these you take out enough slack and all of these And then again with these um, the excess wraps, again, you can get those out of the way by velcroing those back into place. So if they're not, don't get caught when you take the person or move the person. So ideally, this, once they're in this, then we can put them back in the backboard or transform them onto something more secure. So again, just check one more time. Uh, make sure that uh, everything's secure and he's not moving and then you're gonna need you're definitely gonna need someone to help you um, 
with this because if you needed to move the person you would have one person on each side uh, to lift them as one piece um, again uh, onto the card or onto the uh, spine board that um, you can get them to the ambulance to the hospital.